Welcome everybody. Today we are going to find the middle value from the array. So in this challenge, you are given an array containing three numbers. And we need to return the index of the number that lies between the other two numbers. So if you check the example, we have three numbers 15, 25 and 55. Then we need to return the index of 25 because 25 is a number which actually lies between 15 and 55. Similarly, if you check the second example, we have numbers like 99, 175 and 49. So the least number is 49 and the maximum number is 175. In this case, this 99 is the one which lies between these two, which lies between 49 and 175. So in this case, we need to return 0 because 99 is at 0th index. So let's attempt this problem. First, let's check what we have in the array. We have these three values. Okay, fine. We can make use of um, math object and we will make use of min and max function because we need to find minimum and the maximum number out of those three values that are provided to us as an input. So let's quickly create a, a constant called max to store the max number. So we'll make use of math.max and we will destructure array because we need to provide the values of an array. We have used this in the previous challenges as well. And similarly create for minimum math.max provide array. If you simply write max and min, then use max and min. my sorry for the typo so from this collection 15 25 and 55 we have max value we got the max value as 55 and the main value as 15 fair enough up to this point now the condition that is helpful for us to identify the middle value is to check if the number is neither minimum nor maximum if that is true that means the number in the current execution is the middle number that we are looking for. So what I mean by that, let's understand it through the code. For that, we will write a for loop where we will initialize the index with zero. We will run the loop until the index is less than or array dot length and we will increment the index definitely. Now we will check if the current number is neither maximum or minimum. That is the R condition. So for better understanding, let's store it in a variable called current number and we will assign the array of I. So if, if you check that, I made a mistake. It's not I, it's index. So this loop will run three times and every time we'll get three values. The first value will be 15, next is 25, and the last value will be 55 as given in the input. Now we will check if current number is neither a minimum number and current number is not even equal to our maximum number if this is true then we then we are sure that we found the middle number the middle number would be the current number but we don't want to return the number itself we need to return the index of that number so in this case the index that we are storing is the index variable if you return this and check the output we are returning one. If you change the input, let's say I want to check for the second example, this one, 99, 175 and 49. In this case, we are returning zero because as we discussed previously, 99 is the one which is lying between 49 and 175 and the index of 99 is zero. 
So that was the problem about finding a middle value if three numbers are provided to you in an array. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.